big up this girl called um nicole mcclowan um who's got her own hawker mafete free two collab coming out very soon and to be fair i've not been the biggest fan of this nicole girl's design she's the one that's known for taking like a you know a, a flipping carhartt chore jacket and turning it into a bikini and shit right it feels a little bit like a one trick pony thing like how many more of these type of things can you do you take an ikea bag you make it into a hat it's like come on it's a bit boring after a while but regardless um she seems to be a very um astute designer usually um and i also love the fact that she uses her hands and stuff right there's not a lot of people out there that are actually fucking you know cutting and stapling and stitching and gluing stuff together with their actual hands and not just sitting there in front of a psd and um, clicking around on layers and stuff so definitely give her credit for that and i have to give her credit for putting together a sick collab with hoka um it looks fucking awesome essentially it's basically modular in in the way it basically has this weird sock design that makes it look like a high boot but then you can also transform it into a low and then it also has different straps so you can make it into like different types of models and shit it's a really cool approach um to a sneaker collab so definitely give her a lot of flowers for this one this courtesy of hype beast it says a first look at nicole McLuhan's hoka mafate free two collab um um, and it looks really fucking hard um so designer um nicole mcclowan um has earned a significant following for her ability to create out of the ordinary designs that are often playful in nature and lean into a diy aesthetic following her time designing at reebok she has gone to work um from a range of footwear brands producing one of a kind projects now she's seen up with hocker to introduce the latest silhouette the mafati was it M mafati yeah mafati free two with a twist the mafati free two arrives in a combination of mafati two and the mafati free modernized the two with a street ready look that utilizes a quick lace system and a vibrant soul from a clubbing's take on this new style the gator has been applied erasing its collar um it perfectly to convert it into a high top the gator appears in black and red and neon with green stitching glass underneath the gator the upper of the shoe features a gray and yellow and black and white lines while the mafete free set to make its inline debut on october 27th nicole's gator equipped collaborator will follow um on november the third so definitely chase you for that as you can see there she's wearing them there out on the trails she's actually out there in the field doing the work we love to see that you got that great sock design right going on there and then i think if i check on her instagram actually there's actually more pictures that show you kind of how you can basically um take them apart and kind of make them your own i think this one might be a good option to check actually let's see if we can get this to load bear with me a second because my comp is on a mad one but essentially if i'm not mistaken you can basically you know modular change them and stuff right so you've got this option here which you've got oh wow i love this one there are loads of different pockets all over the place where you can stuff little bits and pieces in here um so this look really cool the bright it's super bright isn't it wow and then of course this is what it looks like without the gator type of high top design you've got this big red um midsole here yellow accents and stuff and this nice yellow and black sort of mix on the top um and then of course you've got the logo there she's using a gator again and then more of the shoe itself as you can see here she you know she's kind of like lacing up that thing on the outside of it to kind of protect it maybe it's to keep from fluff or stuff getting in on your shoe or maybe it's to help it to be a bit more waterproof i'm not really too sure but i'd love it anyway and then let's click this video here and maybe this will show us how you can basically take them apart if i'm not mistaken let's see if this works yeah she's turning around she's unzipping the gator thing removing it from the upper of the shoe and then you can basically change it so yeah all different ways to wear the gator and then collab releasing tomorrow um again you can clip it on the outside to make it look like a uh, it looks like a mule or something with the laces covered to be fair like a sandal you've got another way to put it where you can oh wow you can cover the back of it and basically make it kind of sort of see kind of you know i guess waterproof so there's no seal there and nothing can get through and you can also wear them regular like regular hocker running shoes they look so good though man that's a really again um i, I think her designs can be a little bit one trick ponyish, right there's only so many versions of an ikea bag turned into a backpack that i want to see but i do appreciate that the collab is very true to her design aesthetic and they're actually somewhat functional oh they kind of build on the vans isn't it that van shoe that she did they kind of build a little bit on that the van slip on that she did with all the little pockets the gardening shoe so that's actually a good little model there i'm not really too mad at that and then she, she's because she's done quite a few products isn't it i wonder this is really cool this new generation of designers how they're able to do different collabs with different brands because she's got a reboot collab there you've got a collab with vans and then you've got a collab with hocker so i like that the brands are not like signing these guys onto like exclusive contract because i always thought that was weird where you couldn't work with other brands if anything if you do great work for one 
that will influence people's likelihood to want to buy another stuff from another brand that you do. Do you know what I mean? Like if you do a great collab with, let's say Puma, and then you have a collab with another brand like Reebok or something, or, you know, New Balance, I'll actually more be interested in seeing what you do there because it's a different brand and it's going to carry the hype on for the other one. So they all kind of serve each other. I never got this whole thing about, oh no, you can't have, um, you can't work for the other company. So no, let me work for all of them. And it all kind of feeds into each other. So yeah, you've got Reebok there. Um, I'm not too sure what this brand is here this blue shoe um the, oh yeah this is uh the 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 mountaineering footwear right um dynami footwear or dynami how, how you pronounce that word um and actually let's see that video what does that look like what's she doing she's walking into a shop with those shoes on um re what they call it's a reusable grocery bag the actual shoe is a grocery bag oh sick <laughs> that's kind of cool i'm not gonna lie that is kind of cool you take off the bags on the outside of the shoe and it turns into a little bag <laughs> obviously it's only a, it's only a vegan diet bag but it's pretty decent regardless right you can you really fit fruits in there you can't fit a big steak or anything else but that looks fucking cool i'm not gonna lie that's really cool big up her that's really fun um so yeah vans um you got uggs collaborations here um you got crocs collabs and then you got the hockey on there on there is what they do eventually come out so yeah big up her they look fucking great can't be mad impossible to be mad at great design to be fair and i can't wait to see them when they eventually do drop when they eventually do drop and they've also got this picture here courtesy of an instagram account that i already mentioned i think beforehand and yeah they look great um i love that uh, i guess the the red dye kind of dies after a while because that red from before is really bright and red maybe it's an earlier sample i'm not too sure but that red now in this shoe looks really popping off of the screen that red looks amazing like that is actually screaming at you so i do love those so big up her um can't wait to see them when they eventually drop so it's a couple of big stuff coming out in it this um friday actually those are good stuff so yeah check them out if you're that way inclined check them out if you're that way inclined um i already put those up there right this is the hype beast article over there the nm hype beast um hockey on on it so yeah, definitely check them out too when they eventually come out um nicole mcclowan's hocker mafete free two collab coming at you very very soon keep an eye out for them if you're that way inclined keep an eye out for them if you are that way inclined 